How's it going everyone? Jesse Slamorella here. And uh, still can't think of anything else to do. So we're just going to be continuing on with these mainstream CD collection videos until they're all done. So yeah, right now we're going to be going through all my mindless self-indulgence collections. So if you don't like them, that's all you're going to be seeing in this video. So I apologize. But you might be surprised at how many releases they have, so maybe stick around and see what all they got. First up, one that was really, really rare and cost a few bucks. This is Mindless Self-Indulgence, self-titled, um, way before they did anything that you know them for now. This was kind of just basically Jimmy Urine kind of making stuff that sounded like uh, Nine Inch Nails. So, yeah. You probably will never see this, so I'm gonna take the booklet out and show you as well. There's the inside. You can pause that there to read it if you like. Um, but, uh, yeah, this is... 1995 Squeaky Clean Sound Works Incorporated. Very interesting stuff. Written, produced, arranged, performed by Jimmy Uringer. Uh, oh, Steve Rye also just uh, appeared on here as well. So that's kind of cool. He does bass and guitar samples on Bed of Roses. So there's that. 1995 Definition Music. Um, if you want to see the spine, just to kind of see what catalog number and stuff it is, there it is. Chip. Whatever number that is. So, interesting stuff. Next is a digit pack of uh, their first album. I didn't get the jewel case. This is obviously a reprint. This is tight, by the way. That's the name of this. <laughs> kind of funny stuff. Uh, now, if you don't know who Mindless Self-Indulgence is, they're kind of like a, a really sporadic, ADD kind of internet kind of electronic metalcore band. They're really, really weird and just have the oddest fucking vocals you'll ever hear in your life. Um, he does like really high-pitched things, really girly, screamy things. He does kind of like regular kind of rappy type of stuff. And he also does like the odd, like random growl. It's like for a second or two and then it's done. And yeah, so... Just odd, odd stuff. Grab the mic, bring the pain, tight, diabolical, molly, tornado, uh, bite your rhymes. Just really, really weird stuff. Next is kind of like an EP and remix kind of thing and re-release. This is just called Tighter. And I think it's just an alternate version of their first album with some bonus stuff on it. Because it's got disc one and two. Inside folds out like that. But, um, yeah, it's it's interesting stuff for sure. And this was something I was really really obsessed with for the longest time, back when I was once again in my emo days and metalcore days and stuff like that. When I was in my late teens and early twenties. Um, schnooze, cake, I hate everyone, if I only didn't want to fuck the ones who didn't want to fuck me, agents, uh, dick face demo, this isn't good, an 8-bit version of the song Tight, um, yeah, just weird stuff. Next is the album that a lot more people know. This is Frankenstein Girls May Seem Strangely Sexy. 
This is one that a few people in high school that I knew had. Uh, I even had a, a shirt that uh, basically looked like the Metallica's Kill Em All, but it said mindless self-indulgence and then had these little breakdancing dudes on the, the part where the hammer and the, the blood and stuff would have been. But, uh, yeah, it's just really eccentric, kind of ADHD type of friggin' electronic metalcore stuff. You, if you've heard Mindless Self-Indulgence before, you know what I'm talking about. If not, um, go check them out. They're really weird. Uh, you probably will only, like, last a couple of seconds if you're into the stuff that I'm into, but maybe not. Um, let's see, Bitches, Boomin', Clarissa, uh, Cocaine and Toupees, Dicks are for My Friends, Faggot, Futures, Golden Eye, Harry Truman, Holy Shit, I Hate Jimmy Page, I'm Your Problem Now, just a bunch of crazy songs. Next is a side project by Jimmy Uringer, uh, potentially Steve Rye as well, I'm not sure. Um, but yeah, this is the left rights. Kind of weird. And it's still in the vein of that electronic kind of weirdness. Really fucked up vocals that uh, James Uringer or Jimmy Urin is known for. Really weird stuff. The toilet paper roll. Wow. Take a shit. Wag your ass. Fecal freakle. Uh, Darth Vader, who gives a Sith. Swayze. If you figure this out, we'll suck your dick. Wow. Um, but yeah, it's got 39 songs, or tracks, some of them I wouldn't even consider songs, but there's that. It's probably pretty rare now. I don't know if you can get copies of that if you're, like, into this stuff at all. Next is, this is Alienating Your Audience. This is a live recording. I think this is pretty rare now, too. inside it's got some interesting versions of tornado uh, has a few new songs on here that they've never put on a disc uh, thank god two hookers revenge uh, like shit the last gay song rip off panty shot this one's really really rare and cost me quite a few bones this is Des uh, Despierta Los Niños. It's like a weird EP with some live stuff on it, I think, as well. Yeah. But it also has some bonus tracks that are not on any of the regular recordings. They like to do that a lot. Whack, Brooklyn Hype Part 1, Capital P. Molly Live, Alienating Our Audience, and Joke. Next, this is the regular Jewel Case version of um, You Will Rebel to Anything as Long as It's Not Challenging. Got the original sticker on the back there. The inside disc and booklet. Shut Me Up, 1989, straight to video, Tom Sawyer. You, re you will rebel to anything as long as it's not challenging. What do they know? Stupid motherfucker. Two hookers in an eight ball, prom, and bullshit. Hmm. Oh shit. Uh, that's kind of like a... Apparently this is some remixes plus three other things. This is the Shut Me Up remixes. Uh, the reason I got this is because it has two extra bonus tracks not released on anything else. 
and I was totally obsessed with mindless self-indulgence back in the day, so I got every little thing I could get my grubby little hands on, so that is why I have all these freaking odds and ends. Yeah, it's got four versions of Shut Me Up, it's got a song called Big Papa and Adios Amigos, so those two songs were never on anything, which is why I got this, and then it's got two versions of Straight to Video, uh... Suicide City More and Faster mix was probably pretty decent, I think. Next is an EP by them. This is called Another Mindless Ripoff. And I think it's kind of um, an ironic album title or EP title because they know that they have a bunch of releases that you'd have to track down and find to get some of their, like, their whole collection of songs. I'm damn sure that's why they called this that. This is upside down. The inside. Very interesting. Oh yeah, this comes with My World, Preteen Violence, Frying Pan, Lush, Born to Be Beheaded, and some bonus remixes of other songs on here. Uh, bonus remixes of What Do They Know, yeah. Okay, and this is a live DVD of Mindless Self-Indulgence. It's called... Ah, oh, shit. It's called Our Pain, Your Gain. There's the back. Basically just DVD and CD... Or no, just a DVD of them playing live. And has a couple of songs that wasn't previously released as well. Just another way to suck you in so you buy every single thing by them. There's the back inside booklet. I think I basically just got this so I could see the song Uncle. Probably. Yep. Oh, and capital P. Yep, capital P, Uncle. Yeah, so. Apparently there's two hours of bonus material as well. So, oh, there's some videos and stuff like that on it. Okay, cool. Next is a import weird version of uh, you'll rebel to anything as long as it's not challenging which has bonus tracks and stuff on it. Uh, as you can see there, Mike Commander, Lottie Dottie, Make Me Come, Whack. And I was a sucker and had to buy everything by them because I liked just all their stuff. It'd be nice if they just released those extra songs as a fucking EP or something, but nope. Not available on the original explicit CD release. Oh! Oh, so this is a... This is probably a... Um, a clean version. Weird. Next, there's a Deluxe Digipack version of If by Milo Self-Indulgence. Front, back, to the inside. The original sticker. Uh, has some interesting tracks and stuff like that. Never wanted to dance, evening wear, lights out, prescription, issues, get it up, revenge, mastermind, pay for it, on it, do, money, bomb this track. Uh, has a DVD with Stupid Motherfucker, Straight to Video, Tornado, Animal, and the Animal Video. And the last thing I got by them was a special import edition with bonus tracks of If in a jewel case. There's the inside and CD. Yeah, the bonus tracks on here that I got was Uncle and 3S. But it also comes with like a whole bunch of like 
Never Wanted to Dance bonus remixes. But, uh, yeah. That was the last thing I ever got by Mindless Self Indulgence, and I don't know if I'll probably ever get anything again, unless somehow I just accidentally come across some new stuff and it strikes my fancy. So, anyways, hope you saw something cool that you may have like watched when or listened to when you were younger. Uh, if you're into Mindless Self Indulgence, uh, let me know what you think of this collection I got out of them, and uh, let me know if I'm missing anything important. Probably not. I think I got every fucking thing there is worth getting of them. Um, but yeah, so thanks for watching this one. I'm going to do another one right after this, as usual, just to get through all these stacks a little quicker. Um, so yes, thanks for liking, subscribing, and being awesome dudes. Check it out my channel. Stay sick, my friends.